What's up everybody? My name is Erin and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio and welcome back to another episode of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. We are still in the Carpe Diem map. It's been a few days so let me just get reacquainted with my heroes and my castles and uh, what all I have so far. Oh, they're all over the place. Oh, look at the right side of the map up in the corner there. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do you look like? Uh, I do not have the numbers. So I need to go back to my castle. At least try to outrun her. Okay, I already visited the morale fountain. Oh, we're right here next to each other. Can we trade? No, okay, we're... Uh, Alamar is stronger. Probably pass off my creatures from Malekith to him then and let him handle Luna. Okay, I'm okay with this. Now I need to get him away. <laughs> Like, I'm a little hesitant. Yeah, I need to start building up this castle. But I'm a little hesitant to go down here because it says a horde of nomads. And also the Griffin Conservatory, I feel like, would kick my butt right now. Sure, let me take a, a quick chance. See if I can get this uh, crystal pit. Excellent. Okay, go ahead and set a course for the windmill, or just even the water will, because tomorrow is going to be the new week. Oh, how did I miss a resource there? Oh no, oh no, I gotta get Malekith out of there. He's probably gunning for my castle more than anything. Okay, my dude, um... Claim this back. I can't believe I missed a pile of, like, wood back here. Alright, let me get away from her. Let me get him back in his castle. Fill up on what I can. Oh, I'm stocking up. I'm going after her. Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I upgraded that shoot. That's okay. Yeah, let's see if I can take her out before she comes for my castle. Looks pretty evenly split so far. Not looking good, guys. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Oh, we took a hit. We took a hit. Oh, look at all the artifacts we got, though. Nice. Oh, we took a hit. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, well, uh, let's, well, let's look at what we got. This one is a plus three knowledge, and this one's plus four. And uh, increases luck, extra spell point, negates all luck bonuses for both you and your opponent. Eh. Morale plus one, archery five percent, an additional ore, and this one increases scouting radius. Fifth level units by two. Okay, so I'm going to pass these off to Malekith when I get a chance. The wind man. Nope, keep going. Keep going, you're not done yet. Uh, green, you get too close. And that's. Uh, I already forgot. It's been a few days since I've recorded this, and I've already forgot about how much they're going to tax me. Oh my gosh. Okay, dude, I'm gonna give you these things. Oh, look at our number. We took a hit. We, like, traded out all our resources. Now this, this green ship is coming in, and, uh, she's got similar creatures. My castle has is defenseless because I it's only day two and I like bought all of my creatures that I could. Uh, and purple is so close. The green castle here. There's nobody there that I can see. They might have just made a break for uh, my other castle. So, but I need to go back up here. I need numbers if I want to venture further down. And I'm wondering if it's better to just wherever, like, I'm assuming they're going to, like, dock here. And I'm wondering if it's just better just to leave my castle <laughs> and maybe, maybe steal this boat <laughs> to get over to my other hero. There's a lot to process. I'm gonna use up all my movement for the day. Oh, no, I was wrong. Oh, of course, I forgot there is like nothing here. So I have not built it up yet, so that I can't get the numbers. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I can buy a lizard men. I have room for them. Let's see, I gotta get all these other creatures. I've gotta build this place up or I'm not gonna have a fighting chance. Oh, and green is right there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know you guys. I guess I just, uh, well, I haven't gone here yet. I don't have enough movement to get me back up there. No, not quite. But at least I know when they dock, they like, they have to, like, uses up a day. And I don't think if they can pass through here. I don't think they can, but I've been proven wrong many times before. What are you doing, Green? Oh, he's right there. I'm not confident. Let me save and see if I can deal with this. I I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try.
Oh my god. We we won, but we also took such a hit. Guess we got some artifacts and a boat out of it, I guess. Uh, increases knowledge and power by plus three? That's a good item. Power school plus five, and then we got eagle eyes. Okay. I'm a little disappointed. Not upset. I might have already been here, I don't remember. You approach the strange hut and observe a witch inside studying an ancient tome on archery. As you approach, she turns and focuses her one glass eye on you. Ha! She screeches. I would not presume to try to teach new tricks to someone so clearly as wise as you. You leave but can't quite shake the feeling that you have just been insulted. I, I mean, I would take that as a compliment. Like, oh, uh, I have nothing left to teach you. You already know everything. Uh, just let me hang out. <laughs> Here for a bit. Again, there's not much I can do right now until another week passes and I can get more creatures. And I'm like over here. There's there's purple flags and a green castle. They're so close down here. I need to keep an eye on my guy up here. Jaeger. It looks like I'm just like on this crescent moon island thing. I don't want to put him on a boat because he's only got the lower grade harpies. But I guess if I can put him on a boat and keep him there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, he's clearly more equipped to be on the boat. Let me have them trade places. Yeah, let me put him on a boat. You get up here. Oh, we can afford the capital, finally. Now we should be able to get a nice chunk of change in there. I'm gonna have no money left for my taxes. <laughs> but whatever. Let me go all the way back up here. Okay, it looks like green and purple move to the underground. I don't know if I want to visit the derelict ship. Oh, I don't know if I... Oh, I can't. I have to... What? Bites? I'm, like, enclosed here. Or maybe I can just dock. See what happens. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're so close. They're so close. I thought I saw something move up there. Oh, they're right in front of me. Oh. I I cannot take another hit. <laughs> so close, I'm so dead. I might just have to suck up that loss. I'm not gonna save. Oh, 
somehow he avoided me. I'm shocked. Oh, see, see what the purple guy did down here? He did some kind of transportation spell to get across the water. That's where I forget, because you have like combat spells you use while you're, you know, in engaged in battle, but adventure map spells. Oh, that's probably what water walk. Yeah, allows your armor to use part of its movement to walk across bodies of water. You must end your movement on dry land. See, I should be using that for my other guy <laughs> to safely cross back over. And then, oh, wait a minute. I could do that. I won't need a boat. Interesting. I'm just gonna scoot back down here. After me. Like, I want to see what's up in this darkened area. The castles. <laughs> I'm devastated. But is there anything like up here that I can get like there has to be a way I can get a boat over here, and I think I need to take it from over this area. Oh, you are so close. Sinka is so close, and I hate it. I can't help but feel like I'm just, I'm tempting fate. Maybe I can steal his boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Well, what I need to I need to be over here. Okay, I'm just getting my turn. And there goes my taxes. Alright, I'm gonna steal your boat. <laughs> yeah, I bought everything I could from here. Uh, do I have... Yeah, this is the one with the upgraded... Well, I got both types of harpies. Uh, an amount of money. Oh, he's right there. Nope, nope, not gonna risk it. Oh, he's coming after me. <laughs> I think I'm done for. I don't want to say goodbye to any of my heroes, but it's just, it's just unavoidable at this point. What do I need to get the next thing? I need wood. Gold, obviously. Okay, I think it's just wood and gold. Uh, okay. Oh, he, he's dancing around me, and I do not appreciate it. I 
I guess I need to go to all of my collection stops before the week's over. Now I've only got that one guy over here. Okay, I can buy the Gorgon Lair now. Castle. Uh, yes, double my base creature growth, please. Shipwreck Survivor. You've pulled a shipwreck survivor from certain death in an unforgiving ocean. Grateful he rewards you for your act of kindness by giving you Centaur's Axe. Ooh, what does that do? Uh, increases attack skill by plus two, and this one does plus three. Okay. Oh, bless. Okay, nothing in the flotsam. Uh, empty treasure chest. What a tease. Oh, Red, when'd you get there? Oh, I'm not gonna make it back. I'm dead. <laughs> Get it back. I think I can take that. Save. Yeah, I got this. Excellent. Oh, of course, and because I lost my castle, I gotta buy the capital again, and I need that income. Nothing in the flotsam. Can I get around here? It looks like I can. Hey, get out of here, Red. Red team is still turning out to be like the bane of my existence right now. All right, and we pulled up another shipwreck survivor and got boots of speed. Okay, so the boots of polarity worn on the feet increases your magic resistance by 15%. Increases your hero's movement rate over land. I need that, but I'm in the water right now. Let me try to fill out as much of the coastline as I can. And maybe go ahead and dock. All right, so I've already been recording for quite a while now, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode of Heroes and Might and Magic 3 here. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!